Oh, do you know you wish you haven't started something? Jesus. I'm almost under. I'm up, I can't even spin the freaking camera around. I haven't got a clue what time it is. I'm gonna say. There it goes. Hello. Oh. What are we doing? Uh, digging a hole. <laughs> um, it's a porch build, isn't it? Yeah. Finally. Uh, it's um, under the three metres like it has to be. There's our manhole, which is in a right pain of a place. That takes the downstairs toilet and the upstairs toilet, so they come straight through to there. Luckily there's nothing else going into that from the neighbours. And then another manhole down that end, but that's nothing to do with us. That's the toilet on the other side of the house. But our porch is going to be 2.4 wide, which is roughly here. It's going to go across to there, there, and then because of that water meter, we're not going to need that. It's going to go 12.50 out, so it's going to be roughly a meter inside on width. It's going to be long. It's going to, going to be more to this end, so you've got areas to put your coats and stuff and shoe, shoe rack and stuff out of the way. And then this, this front door is going to be open that way against the wall. And we've got a 900 by 1050 window for here. And that's going to be a solid wall. It's going to be a lean to. Just a straight lean to a couple of pikes at either end. So what we're doing is we've got to move this to where Alex is. That, that corner there is, that's, that's the corner of the dig. So we've got to go past the dig. So it comes straight out here, we need to put a bend on it extend it and drop the chamber up there so um, it's, it's still shallow enough to be able to rod it up there which is the only thing we can do with it if I go wider than that mate we've got to get down there <laughs> anyway you see how boggy the ground is but it's always been like it's horrible but for now we need to get this man all moved and then the next stage after that is get this foundation dug so for now we're going to stick to the just dig in and leave, leave it to it. There you go. Typical new build shite. Look at all the crap, the concrete, the bricks. It's horrible digging this, probably, probably only halfway through. <coughs> Here's where we're headed. That's where we've got to. And we found another pipe going across here. So I'm guessing it's the um, rainwater pipe which is on this corner, which drops in here somewhere. So that might be easy for us um, when we put the rainwater pipe in. But the, uh, the very uh, scarce on rainwater pipe manholes. Right, next door's already got one manhole, but there's the same house as this. So you've got a, we, there's a manhole here and a manhole there, one either side of the house. They've just got one in the middle. So I think the groundwork is made up as they went along here. Yeah. They tended to when uh, they did that with everything when we were working with them. Yeah. yeah. On, the, on this estate, there's meant to be. Was it? Was it? Was it? There's meant to be a garage. Um. Yeah. There was meant to be a garage here and they just forgot? No, they decided not to build it. Oh. The one they forgot was on the other estate. Oh, so, they, sorry. I've got the, I'm getting the wrong sites mixed up. Yeah, the houses were built and then they realised there was a double garage tucked behind the two houses at the back. So they had to try and squeeze it in. So it wasn't just one they missed, they missed two. And they missed a load of windows too. Windows were missed all the time. But yeah, we're about halfway down here. It's not fun. I'll have to keep going. Well, and there's and now we've got a pipe to go under now. You've done the video where you had to fix the front of the house. Floor, yeah.
This is where we come from the manhole. Just see the pipe behind Alex's leg. And we hit this pipe here, which runs parallel to the front of the house, which uh, I've just realised runs along where our wall's going. It actually runs where our wall goes to the porch. And then now we've got the electric and the gas running into the house. So we still have to come further out again to get the manhole in get past all this crap. Look at the state of that, trying to dig in there. This is just awful. I wish we could just say sod the porch, not bother building it. I don't even know what that pipe is. Because there's no, um, no manholes anywhere for it. I was hoping to think it might be surface water, but who knows. The collar on it there, there's no sign of it going to that surface or that one over there. And all the thousands out to the road. Anyway, we're going to put a board over this and go in. We've had enough. That's ridiculous. Even when we go past there, we're supposed to dig under that and get the pipe underneath it all. Despite all the things that are against us, we found the pipe. So the only goal now is just to get underneath it. It's all just stony at the moment, so we're um, keeping some of it aside. But yeah. Easy to dig, but freaking hard to get out of the way. Yeah. Lovely amount of services just in the way. But yeah, at least uh, we've made better progress in day one. We did, we did a lot on day one, look at that. Yeah, we didn't get anywhere, did we? <laughs> We took a hole, we didn't see anything. At least now we can see what we're doing. I think the plan is to get the mine hole about here-ish. Then we're gonna have to, well. have to do something about that pipe. Well. Whether we cut it and angle it around away or what. That's got to be damaged around the porch. Yeah. What? That's got to be damaged yeah. around the porch. Whoever happens to go around, around the water main back in the middle. And uh, it's just starting to rain now, so I'll uh, catch you later. Right, after about what, two, three weeks, <laughs> we're back. Can't avoid it anymore. Poor Christine's getting a bit fed up with all this shite and Daisy keeps thinking she's gonna fall down the hole. So it's all collapsed in, which is our own fault for not doing it sooner. So we're still moving the, the uh, manhole out. I've just set out where the porch is going, which is gonna go out to there. So, you don't, so it hides all this pattern. It's gonna be 2.3 wide. It's gonna go to there and it's gonna be 1.3 out. I decided to go out a bit further and just lintel over that water meter. You just build, build up either side and then put a lintel, uh, angle line over it so you can get the lid off if you need to. Um, it's a shit job, it really is, because obviously the footing's going from there out and then turning there, here, right where Alex's foot is. So we need to go back about another nine inches on this top pipe to put a 45 in another 45 
around the water meter back to here 45 45 to divert everything around so pretty much anything we could throw at us has been thrown at us on this one i think it's a good job we didn't know about it in the first place so i wouldn't have i would have probably would have talked christine out of her porch yeah it's going to be so much extra work but at least um i don't have to go back to the customer say it's going to cost them all this much extra <laughs> it costs it costs 40 quid just for the fittings, four bends and a bloody slip collar. So, um, yeah, we need to get stuck into this. You seem to think about the clothes, not still, the coat's not smelling the bacon anymore. Yeah, can you go? We have an update. Alex is currently on his hands and knees with the bucket trowel trying to get the uh, the rest of the clay out. We've noticed we need a wifer here, not a junction, not a bend. There's a um, kitchen sink and the to two toilets coming in here, so two of the junctions are being used. So that, of course, that, just to be awkward. So, um, yeah, that's got to be changed. We're getting, a, we're getting more and more shite and the bit that's stressing Christine out is the mess so I've just bit the bullet in order to skip so at least a skip will look a lot tidier than all this pile of crap so um, we're going to concentrate on the pipe and stop digging as much as we can I've, I've just been getting stripping down for the uh, where the slab goes and again I wish I could move that but um, yeah that, that needs to be pencilized I've got to go back back Another 150 past that, more or less to the end of the house, for the, the, the wall, and then, like I say, connect onto that. The reason we're getting a skip is that was originally going to be done. This is all going, and we're going to just carry the stones on. So we've got like a, a triple drive, if you like, so you'll be able to park a car at the front, even the van. But, um, four years and three months. And the garden still looks like that, which is doing our rides in. I've got grandchildren now, and um, she can play on the board and play up there. It's really well when it's dry, it's not so bad. I've just spent 30 quid hiring a petrol strimmer to, to cut all the weeds back because that's all I do cut the weeds back every now and again. We need the whole lot stripping out. The whole thing, the patio is going to go up to the garage, so it's going to be a huge patio. I think it's at 70 square meters plus more because um, we're going to go past the garage probably about six foot about six foot wall across obviously with steps maybe steps in the middle maybe steps at the side that's all to be decided so little little retaining wall across there we don't know what we're doing with the top bit but we just want to get this bit done obviously all our building stuff's stored around here so that needs a flat area to be stored on so we can store everything a bit tidier, maybe. I don't know. Just thinking out loud now. Cut it across there. So you've got like a, a little area, a little compound. But um, Chris said, why, why don't you just dig it out? Get it done. The thing with that is, unless you put, put the hardcore down straight away, you've just got a big flat, flat area of clay at the bottom of the slope. So all this would be gone. We wouldn't be able to use the patio. We wouldn't be able to use the washing line. It'd be a disaster. So that, that's got to be done. The original idea was to do this at the same time as the front. Take the fence out, track everything out the front, because you won't get anything through there. Uh, get a decent sized digger, a decent sized dumper. Track everything round down the footpath and round to the front. Dig, dump everything on the front. And then um, dig the front up at the same time. Grab wagon, do the whole thing at once. Spend a couple of days, do all the ground work in, in a couple of days. Grab, get rid of everything. So it hit it hard in a couple of days. But um, obviously we can't leave that crap at the front. 
until we decide to do this because this at the moment the thing that's holding me up is the obviously the the hip operation um, and how long I'm going to be off and how much money's left in the bank after I've been off with no wages so we can't jump into this yet because I don't want to start it and have to stop it halfway through but yeah uh, that's the backstory anyway get past the front how's it going it looks quite clean yeah how do you want to I feel like them slave kids on the Temple of Doom trying to find the freaking it's um I can't holes they just dig holes in the desert yeah yeah that's yeah. what it's like that's how I feel yeah well I'm almost under I'm not, I can't even spin the freaking camera around I'm under behind me you better take that right we're getting there we've got this big pile of crap that's fell in now that's, I'm tempted, that's I'm tempted a, to ask you to bury me in here with it <laughs> That's a new cave in it here. And obviously I've got to dig around this to expose it to get the pipes, to cut them all back and everything. So, yeah. It's annoying that the skip's coming, we've got to dip, we're throwing it down to the side instead of straight in the skip, but we've just got to get on with it. Half of this stuff we'll be back filling with anyway, so. Yeah, at least there's a skip coming, that's the main thing. So I'm going to concentrate on this bit now and expose this, this manhole. So we're catching a bit, and we're back. We're going to try and get this thing done now. It's about quarter past three. We've just been to um, Fairwoods and Hughesgrade to pick up my gear for tomorrow. Alex is off tomorrow. I'm working on my own to do a little wall repair. So we need to get the stuff today. So I'm not running around in the morning. So um, we now have our skip. He's put exactly where we asked him to. Because we put a sign up for him. Now that can go straight in there. While Alex is getting that in there, I can jump in this hole now and start having a look at this drainage. So yeah, um, we'll probably leave some of that over there to go back in the hole, but all this can go. We'll keep the stone from going back in the trench and then um, start making sense of all this. It's just a complete mess at the moment, so, but by the end of the day, it should look a bit better. And um, Christian will definitely be a bit happier that these big lumps of muck have gone. But yeah, um, picked up a Y, which we didn't realise we needed at first, but obviously we do, because we've got two pipes there, which are going to be merged into one. It's going to be a bit awkward for rodding, but uh, it is what it is. I think the left hand side is the sink, kitchen sink, which comes from the back of the house. Right hand side is downstairs toilet and upstairs toilet. I hate all these pipes running under these houses, I hate it. But anyway, it is what it is. So we're both going to go to the toilet and then I'm going to put the kettle on and we're going to get back out here. What a flipping mess. We're trying to save as much of the good stuff as we can. The rest of it's going in the skip. Alex has just done his way down towards the bottom of this thing. He's barra. Oh yeah. If we hadn't left this for two weeks, we'd have had this done by now. Because um, all we've done today is dig out what we've, what's collapsed back in. So that's a lesson learned. And also get a skip. I'm not moving the crap twice. That's my fault. So we. Um, so we empty that barrel then. Yeah. Let's get this barrel emptied, and then we should be able to get this out soon. And then starts the uh, the um, the hard bit trying to make the drains work. Right, well I'd say we're losing the will to live, but I think we lost the will to live last time we did this. Hence we left it for so long. There you go, you probably seen on the time lapse it collapsed about three times in there. And we've had to dig a bit more out there to make sure we can fit in it right. Let's well, come. So basically everything we've done. We've had to redo twice. Yeah. That's on a, such a slope we're gonna have to put a bend on it. Put the put the uh, chamber in 
and then put another bend on it because so, they've got to go in level you can't put them on an angle um, and then we've got two pipes coming in very close together at different levels so that's going to be such a pain in the arse to do as well so um, the Y they don't, they don't line up with the Y no so you have to put angles in so they'll go into the Y well we can cut them back and stuff and but even then yeah it's going to be hard work we know that what they do with the adjustables that Danny had the adjustable bends but they take up a lot of room don't they so yeah we, we've not even started moving any of the shit in the skip yet all we've done is that's what we've dug out that's fell in so we're in a position now we can get the pipe out once all that clay's out of the way uh, we've got the re saws all ready to cut the pipe as far back as we can against that bank can't go back any further I mean, it's caved in that much you can see the water pipe down there so it's, you know it's hard but then you've got this pipe and those services going across the well so you can't even stand in there properly so um, we'll just keep carrying on and keep going as best we can Right, ready to make the first incision. I haven't got a clue what time it is. Hang on a sec. Oh, do you know you wish you haven't started something? Jesus. Right, we're ready to uh, make the first incision. We've got to go in with the saws all. Because this pipe's on such an angle, we can't get back far enough. Because we've got to go right back to this bank to get past this freaking services so we've got the uh, got the um, grinder which against my better judgments I don't like doing it I've stripped it right back took the guard off took the handle off because we need to get down as low as possible and so and I won't be anywhere near the blade I'll be up here so um, we're going to tackle this and then I'm going to try and get a bit of a chamfer on it ready to slot that chamber onto there or uh, a 15 degree bend first. We'll see how, we how it works out. So, um, wish me luck. Gloves, please. Mm -hmm. You said and done it. Do you, me, yeah, do you want me to get in there then? It means pulling. Hmm? Yeah. It's pulling. You can get yourself out, I'll, I'll give it a hug. I'm probably going to get it from my angle. Probably, that's right. Oh, I'm
Maybe there. Nearly got the air hole out of there. Do you know how we're going to get it out of the hole? Hmm? Do you know how we're going to get the height out of the hole? Now. You don't want to dislodge pipes inside the house. Mm. Well, do you want me to get in there again? Mm. I'm thinking if I if I pull. You put some, you like, like, I don't know, use a spade or something to brace the. Uh, I like stand on that pipe. Yeah, if you brace the pipes, I can get it, get stand it out. On that. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what I was thinking. Make sure I'm zipped up. I'm about to go. Hey. Just make sure I'm zipped up so my phone and the keys don't get dirty. Oh. Now. I'm going down under. What we've got here, that's excuse. That, that's moved. It's just trying to get it. It's too. too. Is this a piece of pipe here? Huh? Is that a piece of pipe in between? Yeah. Right, excuse me then, let's cut it. Well, hold on. Got plenty of bits of pipe back in there. That's the loosest part though, it's this part that's putting up the fight. No, wait, move it down. Yeah, look, it's almost out. Oh, I'm done. Where's the camera? Oh. Alex has done it. Now we can start putting things back together. That thing, I don't know whether to get the pressure washer in the garden and clean it. At least get the hose pipe on it. Yeah. So we're going to clean that. Well, if, you, if you start playing with the speed a bit, I'll go clean this and see if you... Right, that's getting there. clean now, it's going to go back on down there. So is it going in here straight away now? You're just going to like shampoo? Straight on that, yeah. We might just put one of these shallow bends on it. I'll get you the uh, pipe lube. Okay, I'll, I'll clean the pipe up. Ah, uh, where's the box with the blades? We could change blades. We could do the black blades in a grinding blade. Get some of this stone out.
come through on the oh. I think it will anyway I'll try and keep talk there you go that pipes in we cut it we put a bend on that didn't need the bend so that's it the bend off which made that pipe short so I have to cut another piece of pipe so this is the last pit pipe to go in so How we used to film. Yeah. I'll have to dig a bit more out there, won't I, so we can put the lid on. We'll just put a board over it for now. Just to be careful nothing falls in it. It's done. That's all we need. Oh. As long as the pipes touch, oh my, maybe a, a couple more mil in case the pipes are tight. That's it. Okay. Uh, I need to mark, not mark this pipe now. Can you mark it? So we know how far. No, we're central with the collar. So uh, half a collar is. 60 mil. I could do the pen or a pencil for this, so I'm going to be right. Another pencil. Can't find any decent pens. Can you just hop in now, mate? And then um, clean that out. Pass me the. Um, Gone up out. What do you use this now? <sighs> All that pain. Looks like it just took 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, it's all connected. Right, I want you to go inside. I want you to flush. Go upstairs and flush. Go cool. downstairs and flush. I need to need to do it anyway, so. Cool. Yeah, flush it before you go. What? Watch it before you go, I don't want to see your business. I just want to see it's working. I don't need it, I don't need it, number one. That looks nothing, doesn't it? Yeah. Just um, turn the kitchen taps on first. Just give it a quick blast. That. Uh, downstairs toilet. Cool. Right, upstairs toilet then. What? What? What a tough job that was. Upstairs toilet done. There it goes. It's really nice that. There's nothing. No leaks. You're gonna be a bit exposed to monster. Yeah. Then we'll um, chuck it in. Uh, while you're tidying all the stuff, well, I'll, I'll backfill a little bit.
Well, yeah, nine o'clock. And you yeah, you, you know you've done goofed when you work till dark in spring slash summer. But I'll open the door for you. Yeah, anyway. That one, yeah. That one's gonna get it. But well, they, customer they wait for. Aye. Yeah, I'd be in the thumbnail that. But there you go, so obviously we've backfilled that park, that's done with. And there's that buddy Y junction, because we found out today. Those two pipes, and then just go straight to the manhole. That's, um, that's not ideal, because we can only rod one pipe. But that's the only way around it. The only way, yeah. It's, uh, that's that's proper head scratcher and um, the um, it's one it's, it's it's a toilet each. Yeah. So the main can get can get rodded from here. Yeah. And, and so it's our house, so yeah. that's why it's going in like that. And the plan forward now is obviously that pipe needs moving, and the best way to move that would be to dig the foundation. So. Each available day we get, like, like we're going to try and finish on time at work. Just give this like half an hour each evening. And then any, any days we get free, we're just going to tackle this. Because once that's dug, we can move that. And once that's moved, we can concrete it. Guess some, we'll also have to like put some chamfer boards down there because it's going to be a wider foot in there, isn't it? Shutters. Shutters. What, what, what are chamfer boards for? Chamfers. Something on an angle. Ah, well. But yeah, so so in theory, the next step is going to be a big step because well, the big step's already been done. Well, it's going to be an even bigger step because to move that, we've got to dig the whole foundation out. Well, you may as well. But that was horrible in every word of the matter. Hated every Makes second. Sense. Hmm? Every word of the matter. That's how that's how upset I am. I'm making up words as I go along. That was uh, not fun. And I'm gonna go have a fight with my mother now because she's uh, got some lip about this, uh, about all this. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> but that will be the end of this part. So thank you all very much for watching. We didn't enjoy. So if you enjoyed, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help. And if you'd want to give any additional support, which is not necessary by any means, but there's the super thanks under the video and dad's PayPal in the in the description. That's not necessary by any means, but it's a It'll it's pay for the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> it's an extra way of supporting the channel, which is a massive help, and we greatly appreciate it. So yeah, this has been a Hell Simulator with Steve and Alex, and we will see you. Sulking with Steve and Alex. Yes, yeah, sulking with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next part.